All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B. Coming to you guys again with yet another video. And this time I wanted to apologize for you guys. I know I've been kind of gone for a little while. I'm pretty sure I spoke on this before. But these last few days I have actually been recording a like 30 plus pickups video, mostly like clothes and accessories and stuff. But they might even be touching like 40 plus things. Um, which will be coming out hopefully on Saturday and Sunday. I don't know if I'm gonna need a part three, uh, but it will definitely be two parts of a pickup video. 30 plus pickups, new stuff. Um, other than that, you know, my week's just been busy with family. Um, the sample industries drop tomorrow, you know, working on that and different things like that. So your boy has been busy at work this week. I have not been slacking, adding stuff to Bulls Bodega. You guys are probably gonna hear that, hear that whole spiel again, but it's Friday. And y'all know what that means. It's time to talk some shit about some kicks, about some sneakers, about what's releasing this weekend. Now we got four Jordan releases this weekend. The first one I'm gonna start off with is the Shanghai Air Jordan 10, which looks like the Gamma Blue Air Jordan 10. Um, and uh, man, this would, if I had a dollar for every time somebody called me in the middle of recording, let's see what it is, man. Look guys, it's towing too deep. Uh, no habla English. All right, so back to what we were talking about. We were talking about the Shanghai Air Jordan 10. In my opinion, this is the best from the City Series, of the new series, City Series at least, of the Air Jordan 10s, AKA it could be called the Photo Blue 10, or not Photo Blue, but Gamma Blue 10s. Um, maybe it's because it the shoe is close to the Aqua 8 that I really like it, maybe not. I mean, that could be the reasoning, but just from, okay, another one. Just from the shoe itself, I like the colorway the best. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's all black. It's just not too much going on. Honestly, it's still not something I would cop, and I will be passing on this shoe, but still, in my opinion, this is the best of the new Air Jordan 10 City Series, the Shanghai Air Jordan 10 joints. Those are probably the best, the Shanghai ones. At least in my opinion, you guys can let me know your opinion down below. Um, I haven't copped any of them, and I won't be copying any of them unless they drop one that's crazy I'm really onto out of nowhere, but what, from what I've seen, I'll pass, I'll pass. Next up we have the Air Jordan 10 London, which to me feels like another Air Jordan 10 colorway. I feel like there was a cool gray 10 or some other 10 that looks really, really, really similar, similar, similar to this shoe. Another shoe I don't care to cop. I won't be copping it. Next up. Now, for the GS size out there, grade school, y'all slid in this week with a pretty dope release, which is the all black with the violet on the bottom Air Jordan 12. These are clean, you know what I'm saying? If I could fit GS sizes and I was a chick, I mean, I guess guys guys can rock this one too. It's not it's nothing too crazy and over the top. Um, but I definitely would be going for this one. I feel like that purple violet color is just right. And with that little bit of that, I think it's gold. It's either gold or silver um, on the lace loops on the 12. Uh, it looks good, man. It's just a good looking grade school release. Um, I can't fault Jordan on this one. Uh, probably the best Jordan release this week, in my opinion, at least. We have another Air Jordan 10 from the City Series. Now this is the Charlotte pair. Now this is one of the better pairs from the pack all white with that blue and that purple. Charlotte Hornets feel to them. You really can't go wrong with the Charlotte colorway just for the fact of the colors that are in that colorway, the white with that emerald blue or emerald green if you wanna call it that. And then you have that purple in there. Uh, it's just a good looking color combination. So these aren't that bad, but once again, another shoe that I'm not particularly looking forward to and I will be passing on this weekend. Now apparently there was another Under Armour Curry shoe coming out. This one did not get flamed by social media, but these ones come in gray, white, kind of a royal blue with some waves kind of detailing on the upper. You know, not a bad shoe. And like I said, I'm always gonna say I can't give enough respect to Curry for what he's done for Under Armour the brand. Um, it was crazy because I, I really feel like I've been, I read an article before that Nike could have had Curry. Um, but yo, Under Armour, salutes to you guys. You knew what you were doing and good job getting number 30, getting Chef Curry. But it's not a shoe I'm going to be copping this weekend. Next up. It will be a crime for me not to talk about these two this week. These are the best shoes releasing this week. If you copped anything this week, I hope these were on the top of your list. When they dropped, it seemed like they weren't moving like extremely fast, and if you really wanted them, you could grab them. But that is the Puma and Ronnie Fag and Colette Puma Disc Blaze, and also the Blaze of Glory. Now let's just start, let's first off, let's start with the Disc Blaze. Like, this shoe is clean 
in itself but I feel like what would turn some people off is just the way that the shoe actually is the disc blaze part of it that has that big plastic piece on the front and you spin the disc you guys know I got the coat of arms Ronnie Feig um, collab a while ago um, that was a display so I have no problem with that I think it's just an interesting looking shoe I think it's a pretty dope piece of tech on the shoes but yo from the blue suede toe to the gradient outsole like they did this shoe correct you got your grays and just the whole collection in general you had socks boxers hoodies like jogging pants it was just a really really dope collection from Kith if you guys have not peeped that I recommend you guys go check it out unfortunately the shoes are probably sold out at this point um, but the kid does have some pretty dope apparel in my opinion um, it is a bit more on the expensive side which is why I didn't cop anything I would have liked to cop maybe like the blue kid hoodie or maybe even some of the Beast by Dre stuff that they released alongside with it and um, they had Fab come in and do like the photo shoot and the lookbook for it which was also dope then we have the blaze of glory which is this all over blue suede and I really like the strap on that shoe and it's just another clean colorway Puma Ronnie Feig Colette y'all came through with this one and um, yo this is the best release of this week if you haven't heard of it haven't seen it well now you have be on the lookout you know sometimes these shoes go for a lot sometimes they go for a little bit I think they released for 170 if you're looking for them afterwards just so you know what the retail was on them but I definitely do invite you guys to go check out the full lookbook and everything on Ronnie Five site great collab great job once again Ronnie Five touching stuff and it just turned into diamonds underneath of them anyways next up the next release I want to talk about is the Nike zoom mercurial flying now this is another new release from what I read they're gonna release in Paris France um, and they have this Nike spirit on soul now I've never heard and I could be saying that wrong I've never heard of this runner shoe It's apparently a shoe from 1997 um, so they're mixing new flying material with the spirit on zoom soul and honestly I like the shoe but I won't be copying it I don't even know if it's gonna release online and I'm not in Paris France to cop it anyways um, you guys know I'm a fan of some of these soccer cleat to uh, casual wear or lifestyle kind of adaptation hybrid shoes so I do like these but I won't be copying now we get another cold Kobe 11 low EM now this is the sunset colorway and this still will never beat the Orange County or aka sunset colorway of the Kobe 6 that is still to this day one of my favorite colorways of the Kobe's I never got it because the one guy that I did have it and I bought my invisibility cloak Kobe 7's from he had them but he had a size 11 and the Kobe 6's ran to me they ran a little bit a little bit small um, just like the Kobe 7's ran kind of tight as well just because of the way that shoe was made and the tech they put in it with like that interchangeable insole or whatever they were doing at that time you guys know I kind of rag on Nike basketball from time to time it's just something that I'm not really into as much anymore and it just has to be some really standout crazy colorway um, to bring me into it to actually buy a Nike basketball shoe I have to really really like it or probably pay, play basketball on it at this point and I rarely play basketball I mean I go and play from time to time but I already have shoes for that I don't need to go buy new ones now I did just mention for me to buy a Nike basketball shoe it would have to be something crazy something out of the blue you know what I'm saying something crazy and this is not the shoe I'm talking about this is why the Nike KD8 what the this time we don't need just the trash we don't need the trash can guys guys production team can we please bring in the trash truck please can you bring that in the screen thank you so much now what we're going to do is we're going to take this kd8 right here we're going to take this and we're just going to slide this over into the garbage truck now garbage truck can you can you take those away for us please just compress those you know make that into nothing flatten that shoe grind it up I and mean, let's just forget that shoe ever happened the shoe that will not be named anymore on this channel is gone oh yeah and actually also since I forgot to talk about this one the Adidas Alpha Bounce um, I think it's interesting I feel like Adidas might have another hit on their hands just depends on how they look on feet um, I didn't catch this first release I wasn't even really paying attention to people like after the fact people were talking about yo did you cop the Alpha Bounce did you cop the Alpha Bounce um, and it's a dope looking shoe they made the shoe based on like I think it was like motion capture that's how they kind of designed the shoe it's a pretty dope interesting idea it's a pretty dope new model so we will see it was just like the ultra boost the ultra boost no one really seen it no one really cared about it until somebody put it on their feet and wore it I haven't seen the alpha boost on anybody's feet yet so I have no clue how they look with like some nice tapered jeans or anything like that so I would have loved to have gotten them just to do the review and show you guys for anyone that's like curious so I will be making sure to look out for those in the future that is it y'all 
Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Snubs. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. I need to get better on posting on that one. And everywhere else, blase, blah, and of course, bull.rc. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Sample Industries drop tomorrow, 8 p.m. I'm going to keep talking about it because I'm pretty happy about it myself. Y'all be easy. Have a great weekend. Peace.